The question is, sketch all complex numbers z which satisfy mod z is less than or equal to mod of z minus i. Now it says to sketch, that means to draw all the complex numbers that satisfy the, um, that inequality um, on a plane with the x coordinate as the real part and the y coordinate as the imaginary part. Okay, and let me just figure out what mod z means. Mod z is the length of z in terms of how far it is from the origin on that picture. And I would get it using Pythagoras' theorem. So um, let me just let z be x plus y i. Okay, I mean, and that works because x would be the real coordinate and y would be the imaginary coordinate, so that's good. Um, so mod z is from Pythagoras' theorem and it's x squared plus y squared and then you square root them. Alright, so that's what mod z is. And that would work even if x and y are negative, so if it was minus 1 plus 3i, it would be minus 1 squared um, plus 3 squared. Alright, well I need to know what mod z minus i is, so, so let's see, z minus i would be x plus yi minus i, which would be x plus y minus 1i. And so mod of z minus i would be the square root of x squared plus y minus 1 squared. Okay, and so I want mod of z is less than or equal to mod of z minus i, which would be the square root of x squared plus y squared is less than or equal to the square root of x squared plus y minus 1 squared. Now they're both positive numbers, so if I square them it won't change um, the inequality. So x squared plus y squared is less than or equal to x squared plus and I think I might just expand out um, that y minus 1 squared as well. y squared minus 2y plus 1. Okay, so let's see. I have an x squared on both sides, so they'll cancel out. And I have a y squared on both sides, so they'll cancel out. So I just get 2y is less than or equal to 1. y is less than or equal to a half. So when I have um, can draw that on the xy plane, so here's x, which is the real part, and here's y, which is the imaginary part, and y is less than or equal to half, so I have a half on the y-axis, which is actually a half of i, um, and then this line here is y is equal to a half, and I want y is less than or equal to half, so So that would be it. So I should just say that um, such that mod z is less than or equal to z minus i. Okay. Now just let me think that through a little bit more though. That's i there and that's 0 there. Now mod of z is the distance from of z from the origin and mod of z minus i is another way of writing the distance between z and i so I want all the complex numbers that are the same distance from 0 as they are from i so 0 is here i is here so z and i all the points on this plane that are the same distance from them that would be on the perpendicular bisector um, and so all the ones that are closer to 0 than they are to i would be the ones down here. So just thinking geometrically, I can get the answer as well.